Not a day goes by where Arun Kumar Day doesn't think about the night his parents died. Pakistani forces killed his mother in front of him and dragged away his father. He was a Hindu cafeteria owner at Dhaka University. They found him here, shot dead along with several others. My mother ran to my father and embraced him. She pleaded with the soldiers, saying, I have nothing. Please don't kill my husband. They just sprayed her with bullets. It's hard to believe people can be so cruel. Thousands of civilians were killed as part of Operation Searchlight, which targeted academics, political opposition and religious minorities. The crackdown on March 25, 1971, sparked Bangladesh's war of independence from Pakistan. Now the government is asking the UN to commemorate the date as an international genocide day. But many of those accused of war crimes are now Islamic political leaders. And their followers have violently protested against recent trials. Many of those accused had nothing to do with what happened during the war. They are on trial because they are political opponents of the government. The government defends the trials, saying the events of 1971 do not get the attention they deserve. We believe there has never been another event where so many civilians were killed in one night anywhere in the world. So many teachers and students were killed. Back at Dhaka University, they now runs his father's cafeteria. Tired of the media's focus on the murders of prominent intellectuals, he hopes Genocide Day will also honor the memory of ordinary people like his parents. Like thousands of others, he is still seeking closure for the date Bangladeshis call the Dark Night. Mahir Sattar, Al Jazeera, Dhaka.